tuning into the show. Welcome to the Game Changer Show. We are Charles and Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. We are glad to be back tonight. We're full, 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 tested of just tried and true <laughs> in the living room. Yes, indeed. I don't know about y'all, but this has been a. Um, I was talking to the Lord before I left home. I said, "God, the warfare is so intense," and then I can hear. Uh, one of the teachings I received um, not too long ago that the warfare is in the mind. Okay, well, what am I thinking? What am I thinking about? Um, I just had to start literally applying and pulling down the word. I know it's not a formal opening meet and greet, uh, but we, we were already into a discussion when the show came on, actually. But um, if you have family and friends that desire to keep up with us on the show and they cannot connect by um, your local cable networks. We will um, give you um, our, our U channel station, and YouTube. it is YouTube.com YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. forward slash The Real Game Changer. Again, it is YouTube.com forward slash The Real Game Changer. Y'all are more than welcome to send that link out and have someone listen. What the Lord is saying about His grace and uh, how his manifested glory is 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 trying to overtake us. It's trying to come in. It's trying to push all that negative stuff out. It's trying to get it out the way. It's trying to get the church in a liberated state for worship. And before we can do that, um, there are some hindrances that have to be removed. Those things that's blocking, that's being an obstruct, uh, uh, a barrier. You know, just just don't want to move to hinder the assembly so that's what we're talking about um tonight as well um thank all of you our viewing audience that love on us when they when y'all see us out and um wherever you are we just thank god for keep allowing us to do what we do because truly it is not us not at all you know um we always want to be transparent you know it's it's we, life you live life and you try to live it the way god have ordained for you to live however we don't always hit the mark wait a minute wait a minute you might i don't always hit the mark let me change that <laughs> but anyway we're going to get on into the um teaching on tonight we're praying for our youth we're praying that they are continuing to have a safe summer um uh, praying for them as they get ready prepare the teachers to go back to school the administrators we are praying for you we are praying um for the for the parents you know for those parents that's in need by the way we are having a back to school outreach coming very shortly we'll keep y'all posted on that and also we want to encourage our viewing audience to call in Hey, I know y'all say I don't want to uh, distract him. That's the main thing. Well, I don't want to stop him. I'll be trying to hear what he's saying. But we need you to call in. Uh, let us know. Give us your comment. Uh, make your, your suggestion. Give us your questions. That, I mean, that's what it's all about. So I think I've... Uh, did I go too long, baby? <laughs> Look. No, you didn't go too long. And I, I'm sitting here on the studio... Um, on the uh on our new little i guess um it's nice set mm -hmm. um furniture um that that i'm trying to get used to it's a little bit lower than what what i think we have with our um with our other uh piece of furniture anyway um this is this is we were we were talking about we were talking about um Right before the show started, what we were talking, we 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 were talking about um, identity. We were talking about how identity has a lot to do with uh, whether or not I'm opposing myself. Yeah. Yeah. See, you know, the Bible tells mm -hmm. us in Second Timothy two and twenty four that the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle, apt to teach, mm -hmm. instructing those who oppose themselves. So watch this. So the servant has to be, has to realize that that the, the one of the biggest challenges people have mm -hmm. is they're working in opposition to themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. 
identity, mm. identity, mm. identity mm. is only when I don't know who I am. See, mm. identity is when I don't know who I am. But because I am who God made me, I may not realize that. So my true identity is who God made me. Amen. But the learned behavior or the identity that I have as a result of my learned behavior is working in opposition to my true identity. <laughs> it's causing me to want to be somebody I'm not. Mm. See? Amen. So therefore, so therefore, I'm constantly defending myself. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly uh, saying things to people uh, to cause them to somehow, uh, uh, to, no, to cause me to feel like somehow I've convinced them that I'm a better person than I actually am. Mm -hmm. The only time that becomes, that becomes on the forefront of some person's mind is when they don't know who they are and they don't want you to know they don't know who they are. So they try and convince you of what they could try to convince themselves. That's true. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But a person who knows who, who they are, they don't care what you think. That's right. Amen. They don't, they're not trying to convince yes. you. They know <laughs> and they could care less <laughs> yes. what you think. Yes, that's now see that's a person who is sure-footed amen a person who is who has a sound mm -hmm. mind mm -hmm. okay not sure why the lord had to get on that yeah. but um that's that's one of the things that um that i find a lot mm -hmm. uh, have having to deal with a lot how some guys how some guys portray themselves to be much more accomplished than they are. They want you to know that they're running this or they're running that or they over this or they over that. Mm -hmm. And really, that's just an indicator of, uh, of, of a deeper deficiency mm -hmm. or the need to convince you somehow that they have significance in an area that they may or may not even have. Cool. Hindrances to the assembly. Going back. Can I back. say something about the word sound that you just talked about? You said uh, God is calling people who have a sound mind. Right. You know, that was part of what we talked about last week on the show, the word sound. Um, G5198 says, mm -hmm. of Christians whose opinions are free from any mixture of error, of, of one who keeps the grace and is strong to be uncorrupt, true in doctrine. Okay, uncorrupt. Your true identity yes. is uncorrupt. Right, exactly. But you're learning an identity mm -hmm. from the world system that, that is working in direct opposition to who you really are. Mm -hmm. See, who That's you right. really are is God-given. Right, yes. The world is anti-Christ, which is the opposite of what's God-given. So the world wants to, wants to mm -hmm. institute, it wants to implement an identity in you that is something other than your true identity. So now, what do we do with that? Mm. What do we do with that? Okay, so now, uh, um, on last week, we talked about, you said sound, we talked about sound mind. Mm -hmm. I know we talked about quite a few things. Mm -hmm. It was more or less like a review, a review uh, right? And if you like, you can go back over just a few of the things so we can get back up to speed okay. um, or get the audience back up to speed. Maybe. Okay. I, I don't think it's necessary to go back through the word. Well, maybe so. Hindrance was a noun. It's a noun. Mm -hmm. It's a thing that provides resistance, delay of obstruction to something. Mm -hmm. um, assembling is a verb to gather together in one place for a co common purpose. And we talked about that. Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, to go into identity a little bit, in order for us to not allow those hindrances to keep us from doing what God told us to do, we got to know who we are, which threw us off into identity, which you were just talking about. Right, right, right. The hindrances, the hindrances are, okay, those are those two words. Do you have any other notes from that, from, uh, from um, last Thursday? Do you? Mm -hmm. If you don't, don't worry about it. No. Okay. All right. So, but we yeah, remember, we remember, we, we 
actually came from the outline that you talked from when we were right. at right so that was our notes that was our that, that was our guideline okay um and so we talked about synonyms we talked about jeremiah before i formed thee in the belly uh i knew thee to be a prophet unto the nations we talked about we talked about um um uh, had god had god ordained cyrus right mm. had god ordained cyrus <laughs> i really i'm really just um not not understanding that at all um so um a chosen generation uh we talked about it being uh we being a, a first uh chosen generation um a royal priesthood uh, okay. okay i'm telling right. all my husband's customers and clients please well no this this guy here things. should know about the show and i'm and i hope i hope by some stretch of the imagination he's going through his television one day and he figures out he's trying to call me during the show and have been trying to call me since you know for probably an hour before the show or more before the show and we try and keep our we try and keep our focus we we try and keep our focus on what we're doing with the show um when we're on the show so you know and and those of you who are regular viewers you know that when we get calls we always mention what well, this person didn't know this person didn't know this person knows and they're still calling me but they're just adamant like that I, i'm not sure anyway getting back to getting back getting back to uh the hindrance to assembly okay all right we 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 place this together remember um, we talked about the example. That was an identity example. We mm -hmm. talked about the Power Rangers. Remember that? Uh, I can't remember the 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 the, um, the anti nemesis or the the um, Rita. Rita. Okay, Rita. We talked about Rita. We talked about the cares of this world. We talked about distractions. Okay, we talked about um, we talked about all these different things. Um, um, we talked about pulling down strongholds. We talked about fellowship mobilizing. Okay, we didn't, I don't know if we talked about this, but we talked about Iro. And we know that Iro is, is where God places us together mm -hmm. with a, an assembly, placing us, places us together with a group of people. And as a result of him placing us together with the group, the, this group of people that he places us with are those who have some consistency, those who have some um, some some predictability, mm -hmm. those who have overcome in some areas of their life, and God connects us with them mm -hmm. to help support us in our development. And so, as a result of that, as a result of that, um, as a result of that, um, we. As a result of that, we um, 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 are put in a position where we allow God to produce more fruit in our life. We talked about that. We talked about um, um, the fellowship. We talked about how how that that IRO moment is one in which everyone is learning. It's one in which um, it's one in which um, um, see how can I say this. Um, it's one in which um, it's 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 one joint supply to the effectual working that's in every part. So in, so everything that's connected is being fortified. Everything that's connected is being uh, is being nourished. Everything that's connected yeah. is it it has the benefit yeah. of what is connected to. Mm -hmm. Now. It also has the liabilities of what it's connected to because, right, mm -hmm. because the challenges are yeah. working effectively in someone's mm -hmm. life as well. Oh, glory. Right. That's, right That's right. There. So, so Ooh. all those things, the challenges are effectively working in someone's right. life. When you look at Ephesians 4, 11 through 16, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if our, if our producer is in the, is in the, uh, the actual control room, but. I will show you this. Let me see. 
Yeah, he, uh, he, he, he practically is. I will show you this. If he's in there, he'll pull it up. Say it again. Um, okay, right here. Right uh -huh. here. This is the, the passage of scripture right here. I have it highlighted. And I'm not sure if he has it. Um, yeah, he sh he's connected. He's definitely connected. He so, yeah, he, he, he may put it up here in a second, but let's just look at it. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Okay. So, when you think about that, when you think about that, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted, by that which every joint supply it, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. So every part that's connected has the opportunity to produce, okay, in that setting. It has the opportunity, what's effectively working in you, when I connect with you, it's effectively working in, in me. That's so good. guess what? So your challenges are effectively working in you. Yeah. So those challenges are effectively working in me. And mm -hmm. if I'm not careful, if I'm not careful, I will not be aware of that. I will not be aware of that. You have to be careful. Um, you have to be careful not to not to stand in God's way when God is trying to chasten or instruct or cause to pass a test or cause mm -hmm. to be tested Ooh, that's, that's, that's because because you become either an, an asset to that test or a liability wait to a that minute, test. wait a minute since i know that i'm gonna be a hindrance right with that i i, I need to know how where the line is well, am I helping them or I am, I being, I, am I in God's way? Okay. Well, the way that you know whether or not, the way that you can get some idea, the, of course, prayer is the best way to yeah. do it. Prayer mm -hmm. and having yeah. a, a, an effective relationship with God where you can hear from God and God can tell Absolutely. you exactly what it is he's doing. But other, another way is if you see the same if you see the same tests over and over and over again, uh -oh. if you see the same tests over and over and over and over and over and over and over, it's not because mm -hmm. it's not because they don't have the potential to pass it. Mm -hmm. It's because they're not wanting to pass it oh, or my. they're not wanting to give up whatever yes. it is God is asking oh, them to give up to pass it. Oh, so so as, a res as, a, yeah. as a result of that, as a result of that, they keep going through that, that test over and over again. Well, if it's a financial test, like most of the time it is, what's going to happen is uh, God gives them, uh, God provides seed to the soul and bread for your food, right? So... And God makes God is able to meet all your needs according to his riches and glory. So so watch this. So God gives them a job to pay uh, their bills, to be able to buy food, to be able to take care of their necessities. But instead of them, instead of them <laughs> focusing in on those things, oh, they focus in on things that are not mm -hmm. relevant to that. And so what ends up happening is he dwindles down. Mm -hmm. So next time you get just enough for that. Because he's trying to bring you to that place of maturity. No, because he's trying to bring you to the place of, he's trying to give you the place of dependency. See, dependency. Dependency, you know, we dependency comes when you understand, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. Mm -hmm. Even as your soul prosper. Mm -hmm. Well, my soul prospering means my mind, my will, and my emotions prospering. Well, how does it prosper? You know, you know, you, you know, it's the best way for it to prosper. Depend on God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Depend on God. So my dependency upon God. Okay. My dependency upon God is going to mature me. Because there are certain things that I know that I shouldn't even, I, 
I can do without. Right. Absolutely. See, look, let him that stole mm -hmm. steal no more mm -hmm. that he may provide for him that need it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you were stealing and and uh, and you got that word and God said, look, work, let him go find a job to provide mm -hmm. for him that need it. Mm -hmm. So if I have a job, shouldn't I be providing for him that need it? Mm -hmm. So some of this stuff, yeah, some of this stuff that I'm spending money on mm -hmm. that that. I don't need to be spending money on. God is trying to train me to think about somebody other than myself. Oh. See? Yeah. See? And and look, now watch this. Let me show you something. Some of us get it twisted. Watch this. Guess what? I'm thinking about you. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I want you to have this blouse. So I bought you that blouse. So am I really thinking about you? Mm -mm. No, I'm not thinking about you. Mm -hmm. Thinking about what you wanted me to do. Yes, yes. <laughs> but see, that's how some of us. And I might not even like the blog. That, okay. <laughs> that's that's how some of us. Um, <laughs> that's how some of us uh, uh, convince ourselves that we're giving, mm -hmm. that we're not selfish, that we're not stingy. Wow. That's how we convince ourselves. Well, I gave them what I wanted them to have. Well, how about giving them what they needed? Oh, that's a stinking hindrance right there. Yeah. How about giving them what they needed? Well, see, the hindrance is, the hindrance is, is first of all, the mindset. Because mm -hmm. I'm in lack and I want you to co-sign mm -hmm. on my lack. That's really what I want you to do. I got a deficiency, but I just need you to just agree with me right no, now. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I just need for you to agree with me that, guess what? I'm going to stay in the deficiency. Because let me, right. let me help you. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch this. Okay. The reason I'm going to stay in the, in, the, in the deficiency is because, it's because the first thing is God wants me to manage that so he can prosper me more. Amen. So he starts Amen. out meeting my needs. Then once I have faith that he's going to meet my needs, mm -hmm. then he can what? <laughs> then he can give me abundantly. Mm -hmm. more than what I need because he knows that I'm going to do what with it? I'm going to help him answer somebody else's right. prayer, mm -hmm. right? So, so he gives me just enough, just enough mm -hmm. to start out with, just enough, Glory. okay? Then mm -hmm. he gives me just a little bit more than what I need. And I want to see if, if you're going to see, look for somebody else who you can bless with this. Uh -huh. Then, you know, if I do bless somebody, then he gives me a little bit more. Then he gives me a little bit more because he knows that those people who are who have a need, mm -hmm. who are praying to him, that I'm going to help him answer prayer. Amen. See, so he continuously provides My God. what I need Ooh. when I need it. See, see, look, the, the scripture says, the scripture says what in uh, 2 Corinthians 9, 7 through 15 says, says, uh, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you having all sufficiency, all sufficiency, that's everything I need, mm -hmm. may abound to every good work. So I have all sufficiency. So what's the good work? The good work is to help God answer prayer. Yes, indeed. So watch this. So look, so. So, uh, grace calls grace to abound that you, that you having all sufficiency may abound to every good work. Now, he that supplies seeds to the soil will also provide bread for your food mm -hmm. and multiply the seeds sown. Mm. So, all sufficiency in all things. So I may abound to every good work. What's a good work? Good work is a God work. What's a God work? Keeping true to his word. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the focal point of prayer? The focal point of prayer is to agree with him with what he said I'm supposed to have. Mm -hmm. I'm in agreement with him. I come into agreement yes. with him. I I, mm -hmm. I put him in remembrance. Mm -hmm. So the good work is the God work. God work is keeping the promises. The, 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 to keep the promise, there has to be a request and there has to be a supply. Well, the, the people who he's wanting you 
to to be all sufficiency or, mm -hmm. or to the people who he's wanting you to have all sufficiency for yeah. Yeah. are the ones that's praying to him to for pray. their for their needs to be mm -hmm. met well if he can trust you with all sufficiency to where you can to where you can um to where you can you can um, you can provide for them that are in need. Then you you never run out. Right. You never run out. But see, now just think, just think, yeah. if that includes money and you take the money that he's giving you to help supply the, the needs yes. of the, you take that and you go blow it. Uh-oh. Every time. Every time you had learned to be dependent upon God, you had learned to be a co-laborer with God. Mm -hmm. So why should God invest into a company that's losing money? Because that's what you're doing. That's right. You're losing money. Absolutely. Okay. So think about that. She flirting over here, y'all. Telling on you. So now, think about that. Think about that. I want to look at, at this and make sure that we've gone. Yeah, I think I've gone through here. We talked about Third John two already. Um, mm -hmm. We and then we we ended up at four sixteen, which is where we are right now. So so watch. So so now coming from coming from this perspective because. This was more or less like a foundational teaching. Mm -hmm. I think the probably the most the most elaborate teaching we're gonna do is gonna be probably in the in the leadership conference in Orlando. But um, And we won't be here next Thursday. Yeah, yeah next Thursday we'll yeah. be we'll be um Mm -hmm. yeah. Next Thursday we'll be traveling, maybe. Yes, we'll be we'll be traveling. Oh, we'll next we'll Thursday. already be there. Well, anyway, it, what we may do is come in and record a show uh, during the day when no one's in this in 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 the um, in the studio, we may we may do that. We may not have the time to do it. We'll see how God leads us. But um, when we don't have a shortage of shows to put on, okay. um, you know, Show if one, it, one of our old shows, but they only twenty six minutes, so right. Well, won't be long enough. Well, no, you have to. You just put two of them together. That's all. Okay. Yeah, because we have an archive of them. We, you know. I, I'm, I know AOC has an archive of them, but we we do as well. But getting back to the hindrances to assembling, we mm -hmm. we um, we we read from the Bible um, Hebrews the tenth chapter and the twenty third through the twenty fifth verse, and the hindrances to assembling is is uh, primarily in three areas. We talked about it in religion, mm -hmm. in the cares of the world. Right. And in what? Understanding. In understanding. Right. Okay. So, so those are three primary areas. Mm -hmm. Three primary areas that the hindrances come from. Right. Right. Okay. So now, now, if if the hindrance is coming or is coming in those areas, <sighs> you have to ask yourself. Why would the enemy not want me to assemble? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the primary reason the enemy doesn't want me to assemble is because God wants me to assemble. Right. See, God wants me to assemble, so the enemy doesn't want me to assemble. So he right. sends the barriers. See, look. You have to recognize that the enemy starts when we're children, mm -hmm. okay? And everything that he teaches, okay, everything that he teaches is already in opposition to Christ because he's anti-Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. So the, most of the strongholds that we encounter while we're, while we're, out in the world mm -hmm. are only going to make it more difficult for us to accept Christ. 
See, we can never expect for the world to, to make it conducive for us to accept Christ. Mm -hmm. no. no, no, the world no. wants to make it most difficult. Yes, most definitely. Most difficult. Most definitely. Most difficult. And most so, definitely. so watch this. So by the time you get to a place where you, um, you get to a place where, um, <laughs> Where you're, that was a major distraction right there. Um, when you get to a place where, where, um, yeah, it is true. It is true. It's just, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm very curious to know that when I do get in contact with them and I tell them what exactly they've been hey. doing for the last couple of hours, I want to see what their response is. Anyway, um, let me see where we are. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm. See, well, you're just sweet. Just like you see, the transparent that the struggles are real. Well, when it comes to you doing God's work, it's kind of like Nehemiah on the wall, and you got um, Sam Bally down there saying, "Hey, hey, what about me? Yeah. Hey, you right. gonna come down here and help me do this? Get, right. Get, okay, that right. kind of stuff. Right, and that's exactly where we are yeah. with this. And mm -hmm. um, so, so, <laughs> um, let me get let me get back where I was just a second ago. Okay. Um, yeah. I was talking about, uh, just looked at this. I was talking about, um, they really, really just, I was talking about how, how hindrances are from the world system that started when we were children, that implemented strongholds, that placed them in, in, certain arenas to always have a response that's conducive for what the uh, kingdom of this world, the outcome it w is trying to arrive at. See, mm -hmm. see, so, so everything it's implementing, everything it's implementing uh, from the time, from the onset of you being exposed to the world system until the time in which the father draws you the Christ you have so many strongholds that set up in your mind with respect to strongholds in belief, strongholds in feelings and emotions, strongholds in behavior, strongholds in thoughts. So the thought is a reflex to something. Mm -hmm. So the behavior is a reflex to something. Mm -hmm. So guess what? So the emotion is a reflex to something. So now you get saved. God calls you and, uh, and you hear the call and you accept Christ. And so you still have those reflexes. Mm -hmm. And usually because those reflexes are embedded with the behavior or with the reflex of the world, you have to you have to get those challenged by the word of God. Now we we this is this is a puzzle that's mm -hmm. been put together so carefully and so so I mean so practically and so carefully put together. It's kind of hard to to remove it from from its place. And this is the this is the whole thing. You know, you accept Christ. Your, you, you have to, your mind has to be challenged by the word. The Bible calls the word in that instance a weapon. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So watch this. So we identified the word being called a weapon. Okay. In that passage. One of the only places in scripture, the word is called a weapon. So if it's a weapon, what is the weapon for? Mm -hmm. What is the weapon for? Okay. Now, persecution and tribulation arises for the sake of the word. What word? The word that was sown. Well, why was the word sown? So therefore, it can be determined whether or not you're in a position to believe God 
or to hold on to those strongholds that has been placed there by the world systems over the years. So the, so the word is, 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 is being sown, so therefore it can show you that what you believed before was a lie. That's what it's for. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a weapon. It's a weapon to tear down the lie. Now, as you tear down the lie, guess what? Your soul prospers because now you get that sound mind. Mm -hmm. See, the sound mind, the sound mind is, is, is the result of you allowing the weapons of our warfare to tear down the strongholds by casting down imaginations and every high thought, every high thought that what that tries to exalt itself above the words you just heard. Amen. See, and, and bringing it into captivity and saying, no, the word that I just heard is greater than you. Mm -hmm. The word that I just heard is the truth. Mm -hmm. The word that I just heard is what I believe now. And guess what? Guess what? The word that I just heard, I don't believe it completely, but Lord help my unbelief because <laughs> I know it's true. Yeah. See? Yeah. So now right when you before your face, right, you it's right it. before yeah, your you face. So it. you're at the crossroad. Yeah. The word wants to tear down yeah. the stronghold of thinking, of behavior mm -hmm. and of emotion. It wants to it wants oh, to God. remove those reflexes yeah, that's God. based it's on tough. lies yes, or based God. on you attributing oh, the I things see. in your life to yeah. people yeah. when the when guess what is clearly mm -hmm. we, it's clearly understood that we wrestle not against flesh and blood okay mm. so 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 the expectation that you've had that caused you to be disappointed where now you don't trust people where now you think everything is going to happen that's negative mm -hmm. you're now you're thinking it's hard for you to plan it's hard for you to believe in yourself it's hard for you to believe that people will help but people will hurt as well they're just people see so god is trying to get you trying to get that sober mind in you mm -hmm. and he has to tear down what the world has mm -hmm. built up and so it's it's gonna take a little while but just stay there just stay there stay there stay there and allow those tests allow those trials understand why they're coming because we've already talked about, we've talked about the trials and the tests are coming. Why are they coming? They're coming because guess what? I'm saved now. Mm -hmm. I'm in Christ now. God is drawing me now. See? So now they have to come because it, the word wants to make a clear cut separation between God's people and the world. See the, the, <laughs> the religious community wants you to believe that God is coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. That just mean that you don't see me do nothing wrong and I don't see you do nothing wrong. And as long as we don't see each other doing nothing wrong, when we in church and, and it, the organists hit that organ music and we, we go to shout and we slapping high fives, sl shouting. Because I don't know what you're doing and you don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And as long as we don't know, we can, we can have respect for one another. But the minute I find out your tail done made a mistake, I'm letting you know now. Nah. I had to holler at you, okay? Because mm, you know better than that. You know better than that. 
But that's really pretty much a lot of mindset. Yes, that's that the, that's right. Into, that's right. You know, that's right. They don't understand that the righteousness of God is not for them to give. Right. Amen. It's true. We being the righteousness of God mm. is not for you to give. It's not for you to decide. It's not for you to explain. It's already explained right here in the word. That's why it's so important for us to know how to read the word for ourselves. I understand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to be very, very clear with that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. So now, now that we have landed somewhere, um, to, today, I, all I can say is that in the studio, we've had multiple, multiple distractions. We've had all types of things before we came here. It was all kind of things jumping off. So all I'm saying is this, all I'm saying is this, look, when you get saved, all those strongholds that's in your mind, you know what? God is more serious than you are, way more serious than you are. And he will, he will accomplish what he set out to accomplish. He, he brought salvation by his own arm, the Bible says. So watch this. So, 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 so if he brought salvation by his own arm, does his love go beyond me or does his love end? with me. Because if he brought it by his own arm, that's a decision he made from himself. If he brought it as a result of my need, then it's based on me. But see, he was so certain he wanted to do it all. Glory. The word is settled in heaven. Glory. The word is settled in heaven. Mm -hmm. So, so, so the word spoken was spoken in a millisecond. Mm -hmm. Faster than the speed of light. A complete and total thought. Sila. Hindrances to assembling. Hindrances to assembling. Strongholds that's been placed over the years in our minds, in our hearts, cause us to respond, cause us to believe. Oh, we got our scripture on the on the uh, on the on the screen. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now. See, this is what we were talking about earlier when we said from who the whole from from whom the whole body fitly joint together. No, we ain't doing that. Okay. So Now, this is what I wanted to talk about. Remember, remember, you remember when we first started the show, you said you gave the definition for a word. Which word was it? Sound. Sound. Okay. Go ahead. The word was Talk sound. about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The word sound, the Greek letter for it is G5198, Haji, Haji Anio. Okay. For you scholars, that's H-Y-G-I-A-I-N-O. Of Christians whose opinions are free from any mixture of error, of one who keeps um, the graces and is strong, to be uncorrupt, mm -hmm. true in doctrine. That's the definition for sound. For sound. Now look at this. Look Which at is a verb. Look. Now look at this. This is what this statement is making in in Ephesians four eleven. I'm sorry. 
Ephesians 4, 14. See, this is the result of assembly. <laughs> Jesus. This is the result of mm. assembly. See? Till we be, to, look, assembling is going to cost us to not be tossed to and right. fro and be carried yes. about with every wind yes. of doctrine yes, by the slate of men yes. and the cunning craftiness oh whereby they lie, they lie and wait mm. to deceive. So in other words, we will not be tricked. I mean, the scripture is just right before our eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just real, it's live, it's tangible, mm -hmm. actual situations, the rhema, the, the living word is just jumping right off the pages um, at us from this teaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. I told my husband, Lord, the word for next year, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> he might have to try that one by himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll do it if we have to. Oh, my. Glory to God. It's been intense. Mm -hmm. So we talked about we talked about how the test comes. The test comes through the word. How you being tried? Okay, how you being tried? I'm being tried by what I've just heard. What did I just hear? What I'm being tried by? This week, what's my challenge? This week, my challenge is going to be from what I'm hearing. Or what I've already heard. Take it seriously. 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 Help us, Father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to just pray um, a few minutes. <clears throat> I know we've been getting a lot of word, and I just feel a, a, a desire to pray. I mm. can't even say God is saying pray is just a strong desire that I have to just pray for the body of Christ and pray for everyone that's um, <clears throat> having that challenge right now, that hindrance that's there, that's, that's trying to be a barrier for me uh, connecting with the body of Christ, that, that hindrance, that thing that I just can't seem to shake at the core of my being that just won't let me go, won't let me forgive, won't let me release that person so we can do this kingdom assignment that God has called us to do. And somebody now is listening and that has been an issue for you. And, and God have had you listening to this show so that he can show you how to do this. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. We all have to do it in order to walk into that oneness that God had spoken into our lives and throughout the body of Christ, unity in the body for 2017. We are in the middle of the year, a little bit over. We made all kind of commitments to God as to what we would do in assembling. And it's, it's not too late. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He has anointed and appointed us for such a time as this. So Esther's arise unashamed and unafraid to walk into your kingdom mandate that God have called you to. If he called you to it, guess what? You can fill in the blank. You already know. Yes, he's, he's going to be right there with you through it. Already made every crooked path straight. And if he said it, he's going to perform it. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. Get you an accountability partner, somebody you can call and say, you know, I need some encouragement in this area. Can you agree with me? That's very important. That was the scripture my husband just read, being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. When we come together, we assemble. When we get in our tribe, but we get in that, uh, uh, that, sheepfold that God has called us to, it's not so easy that we'll be tossed to him for uh, believing that that craftiness, that cunning craftiness and all the lies of the enemy to just wait and deceive us. 
See, we put ourselves in that place for the wolf to get us when we, when we do that. But when we do what God has already uh, mandated for our lives, then we walk into that place. We walk into that place of assembly, walk into that pra place of freedom, a breakthrough, a release, of, of just being able to love my sisters and brothers right where we are, past our faults, past our faults. We have to see past each other's faults. Otherwise, you're not doing that agape love. I don't care what you're saying. If you're not loving past those faults, you're not walking in agape, unconditional love. And no matter what they done or what they said, your position is to treat them right, even if they treat you wrong. Love them. I love you, honey. Honey? You got something to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> you was riding out so well. I was like, okay, let me just <laughs> sit here. Let call. me let me no, I'm trying I'm actually trying to yeah, okay. Okay. Daddy, okay. I'm actually trying to trying to make sure our stream and everything else okay. is done. Um okay. you know, cuz I I I'm sorry, but I we've gotten it to where I control the stream from here, so therefore um we don't have um uh, challenges with starting it on time and that kind of thing so we kind of avoid that so forgive me for that but she was in a she was y'all y'all she was doing her thing so i'm like okay let me check let me make sure the stream is good um god was doing his thing how about that mm -hmm. yeah so um let's see here okay he said five minutes okay which means probably about four minutes um so Hindrances to assembly. Um, let's see. We have we have one more Thursday, and that's the one that we're going to be leaving on. So nine times out of ten, the next time you'll see us on the show will probably be in the, the first, first part of the first third of Thursday in August mm -hmm. or let's see, twenty seven. Yeah, it's going to be like August the third or something like that. Let's check the calendar. Mm -hmm. It is August 3rd. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, on that date, we will we'll get back into the structured, more structured presentation because we started out with we started out with um, religion. We talked a little bit about understanding, and then we talked a little bit Here's about scares of the world, mm -hmm. right? But what we'll do is we'll pick one of those and we'll spend maybe a, an entire show just on that particular um arena we did mm -hmm. that already yes huh we did that didn't no uh -uh. we broke uh -uh. it up uh -huh. yeah we broke it up because we mm -hmm. we was it was like part of this show part of that show mm -hmm. part of this show because a lot of times we we address other mm -hmm. topics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what we should do a a, a slide show of all the different shows one day. Just put together a little excerpt from when we started for the people. Well, yeah, that <laughs> you know that's probably why the Holy Spirit asked me to start watching these shows. Probably about two months ago, start watching the old shows, start watching them, check them out, seeing what what you said, what what I've said through you, that kind of thing, and um and and really just mind the goal. You know, take yeah. the take the gold out of that to get the yeah. get the the gold out of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we want to, um, you know, just thank all of y'all for your patience, your love, and your support. Um, Game Changer Show can be nothing without you guys. Mm -hmm. um, we was out in public in um, New Iberia mm -hmm. this weekend. New Iberia, boy. I, 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 we, we can't even go into that place without somebody saying, I know you, come see, mm, <laughs> you know, right. but we thank you all. We, we love you all. And hopefully one day we can get up there and do some street ministry. Mm -hmm. Somebody can contact us and we'll come up there and join forces with some, some of you guys and mm -hmm. do some street ministry in that area. Amen. You know, it's very important. And, mm -hmm. um, that's our heart 
to see people saved and healed, just to get to know the word. It's not so much getting out there and wanting to see people, I mean, you understand, pushing folks over, making it look like, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but just to let people experience the love of Christ, you know. It's not even so much about a meal anymore because everybody feeds people when they go out. You know, it's how genuine is the love. And, you know, people often tell us, we can tell the difference. We can tell when your mm -hmm. love is for real and when you're just doing something to say you did it or that you have some type of outreach ministry. We can tell the difference. So <laughs> just know my sisters and mm -hmm. brothers that when we out there, they know. And everybody out there are not. Let me give you something that's going to help you if you're not used to going out on the street evangelizing. Everybody mm -hmm. that's out there are not uh, without Christ. Some, mm -hmm. uh, most of them that I've met, I ain't gonna say some of them, most of them that I've met can, can quote the word better than us. Mm -hmm. So God bless you. See you next time. On the Game, the Game Changer, Changer Show. Show. <laughs>